All right, I'm here with the sound bot. Got it. It's already been open. This is how it was mailed to me with um, this here tape and other tape, but I already opened it and used it. This is the back of it. Kind of a crummy light there, but it's a uh, shock resistant, 16 hours of playing time, 24, uh, 12 hours of playing, and uh, 15 hours of talk time. Sorry about that. And it says up to 33 feet in distance, 400 um, MHA, and a built-in 3.5 auxiliary. And you got hands-free calling, premium 7x7 seven seven speakers. So you got two speakers that are 7 watts and HD sound. And they give you a little diagram here of of uh, how it's supposed to be or all the buttons do I should say and that's pretty much it for it so we'll go ahead and get started um, let's start the test give me a second alright so let's go ahead and get started here got the SoundBot logo nothing on the sides nothing on this side or on this side so you slide this off there's boxes just all blank This is what we get inside. I never used any of this, so I just left them in there. They're kind of cheap stuff. Not very good. Kind of cheap things. And here's the actual speaker itself. This is, this is what you would get if you unboxed it. And then there's a manual, I believe, inside there. Underneath all of this here stuff. Sorry about that. that bell. Alright. So I'll put this back and you get a you get a bunch of things in here, kind of quick starter. Kind of tells you how to pair it up just in case. And just a bunch of other things that are just really nothing, you know, just telling you about the speaker itself. Um here if it doesn't work or something. That's all. Nothing special in there at all. So we'll go ahead and put this back. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. And uh, we'll be using pure bass songs on this. Um, I don't think I'm really going to try any regular uh, rap or anything like that. I'm just going to go for bass. From now on, it's going to always be bass. Anything that I purchase will have bass or it won't be here. So in the future, I'm going to buy other Bluetooth speakers that have bass. If they do not have bass, then they will get returned and I will try again. And try again and try again until I keep getting more and more with bass. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and pair this little guy up with my cell phone. turned off my uh, sound bar and now we'll go ahead and turn on this guy and you can see we got our button layout right here and if you look really good you see that's the back end of it and then you see your really nice monstrous speakers in there with a really nice um, inside grill that they're sitting in it's like these two squares are popping out and then the speakers go into the squares so it looks really nice looks really strong if you ask me so here's uh the top you press that and it lets you know um it lets you know your battery level so right now it's uh all three i just charged it so let's go ahead and pair it i'm just gonna it, it pairs automatically so i already paired it to my phone and if Wait a minute, we'll let it pair. Okay, so it's paired up. And if you were to buy this, you would have problems. It probably wouldn't show up. So you would press this and immediately, as soon as you press it and it turns on, start pressing the pause button and it should go into pairing mode. So once it's been paired to one device, it will try only to go to that device. 
you will have to uh, search for it again. But if you s put it into more than one um, cell phone, it should it will connect to each one after without you having to go in through the settings. So let's go ahead and um, get started. So we got a base launch right here. So let's go ahead and um, I don't want to be full blast. So so far we're like. Sorry about the dirty phone. I've been doing a lot of testing and it's been pretty disgusting. Because my hands been full of glue and Lord knows what else. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this off for you guys because that's just gross, you know? It's still not gonna be the cleanest phone, but it'll be a little better. So let's go ahead and go back, push play. Okay, so we're Let's go ahead and go to the middle So so far the bass amplifier has not turned on yet Let's go ahead and put it all the way full blast. See what happens is is there's a filter on this amp and it is blocking me from using lulls so I cannot use my lulls it's not letting me use the lulls it's blocking it so that it does not um, the speakers do not overheat so it's basically trying to save itself sorry about that it was an ad there so here's a bass phenomena by a uh, bass launch and then we'll I think I'm gonna have to try something else different because some of the bass is not picking up correctly yeah this is not even nothing compared to what the speaker could really do it's holding back a lot the filter is on that's because this music has too much lows in it and because it has that that much lows it's uh, really difficult to get to sound correctly let's try this okay so now we're moving we're moving look at that the bass is not too low right here so because of that you get nice solid hitting getting hard. Let's go ahead and put this little guy down. It does have feet here, see that? That's nice, that's very nice. Very, very uh, heavy duty, you know? Here's where your, your ports go, your uh, charge port, and your auxiliary out. And I think it has USB as well. You can also stand it up like this and the air will still come out from the bottom. Try another one.
Okay, here it comes. Some of my bass is being blocked again. So the filter is working again. It's blocking most of my bass. Let's try something else here. And we'll go ahead and let this ad finish. And we'll go again. So here goes another one. And uh, this one is a little more tougher on the sound bot. And uh, if not careful, it will, it will, uh, it will try to hurt it. So you gotta be careful when you're doing these, depending on the song, because you don't want to blow your speakers out, because and then and they won't sound as good. I mean, they'll still bump, but it'll it'll extort quicker. So you don't want to push your speakers too too hard, you know. That's why if you're going to, then you better get the JBL so you can push on it really, really hard. So let's go ahead and um, check this out and see what it does. We're at 75% volume right now. something were to happen to it I probably end up buying like four of them so that that way I would always have one just in case I love this thing this thing works so good so well it's like a hundred percent recommendable if you like bass then you'll love this and it's just really good it just hits nice and hard you know mess of air coming out of here right now. Yeah, so I definitely recommend this speaker. If you see this speaker or you, you looking for a new speaker, might just want to check this out because this is a pretty cool speaker. If you're looking for bass, if you're a bass person like me, I love bass and I will sacrifice my mids and my tweeters for my bass. So I'm a bit slower, and uh, because of that, next time we'll be checking out this guy. I heard lots of good things, and it's all 
true, all of it. And I'll tell you one thing, this guy was $25, this guy was $40, and this guy gives the soundbot one hell of a fight. Not just a little fight, one hell of a fight. So we'll be back with this one. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, um, I'm really going to not do reviews on this. We're really going to only look at things with bass. And I also have this over here I wanted to show you guys. Kind of got my mop in the way there. But wanted to you show you guys that. Different. I wanted you guys to see that. Explore right there. Program. Excuse me. Alright. So. Damn ads. So I put this on a home, this is a home theater sound. So I put this base radiator on the port where the air comes out. And I thought we'd check this out too. Max it out, see what happens, see how it sounds. So, uh, so don't forget to uh, come back, come back to the channel. Gran Turismo I love the way it sounds on this Sounds good Thanks a lot